So speaking of impact, leadership, and citizen of the world, what better transition to quickly introduce you to our distinguished guest today. Born in Benin, he graduated from the EMBA, the EGC EMBA, of course, in 2011, and has spent most of his career from 95 to 2020 in the same company. Looks crazy to you, right? Natixis. During this time, he occupied key position from managing director of wholesale to director for Asia Pacific and UK. He moved from Paris to Hong Kong to Hong Kong, from Hong Kong to London, and from London to Lomé, where he was appointed president of the Western African Development Bank. Founded almost 50 years ago, Bank is an international multilateral development bank whose mission relies on three main goals. Poverty reduction, economic integration, and the promotion of the private sector activity. Known for his direct style and obsessed for impact and results of his action, he defines himself as a development soldier. The development of the African continent that he loves so much and that he wishes to serve as best as he can. His high level of curiosity, his desire to provide solution more than sticking to the problems, his ability to move the lines. These are all very valuable qualities that makes him an alumnus we are so proud of. He likes to cite Paul Éloire, a famous French poet, who once said, Dans la vie, il n'y a pas de hasard, il n'y a que des rendez-vous. In life, there are no coincidences, only rendezvous. So because he has had an extraordinary career, an impact on African development, because he knows more than anyone what it is to build bridges between culture, because he conveys strong values, it is a great pleasure and honor to have this rendezvous with you today, Serge. So please join me in welcoming Serge Equé. Well, well, well. Dear uh, Eloic, distinguished lecturers, dear fellows, dear parents and families, first of all, I have to say that I'm, uh, I'm very happy to see you here in this room, than having to see you in my Zoom. <laughs> and when Eloic asked me to be the keynote speaker of this graduation ceremony, I have to say that I did not hesitate for one second to accept his proposal. At the West African Development Bank, Bewade, I have the pleasure to share this institution we are very familiar with, I should say. As my chief of staff sitting somewhere in the crowd here, Maris Locosu. As the chief economist, Alain Chibozo, and George Risk, a young member of our cabinet, have, along with me, spent a number of years on this campus. And not only because of their talent, because they are talented people, but it's also because of their character, because of their heart, because of their belief in humanity, because of their belief in our vision, because of their faith, in the capacity of the world to embrace the future, which is basically what 
you symbolize here today. So as you can easily reckon, I'm honored, truly honored as an invitee and very happy to be abstaining before so many graduates on this unprecedented graduation day. And on this, I have to say, gorgeous, truly gorgeous campus, Ashesi campus. Indeed, you are 1,012 graduates of 2020. Where are you guys? The graduates of 2021, where are you guys? The graduates of 2022, where are you guys? There we go. From all around the world. I wish I could be the 1730th because this moment, this very moment of pride is worth living all over again. Slightly more than a, a decade ago, I was also in your shoes. And I can still remember my graduation because I was bold, bright-eyed, focused, experienced already, and proud to be part of the community of destiny and responsibility. Therefore, I would like truly to congratulate you all, dear fellows, here, present, and behind your screens. I also wish to congratulate you, dear parents, Studying is a family commitment with sacrifices. I guess you have experienced that. So dear fellows, allow me at the outset of my speech to focus on the first topic I wish to share with you. The first topic is about time. Your time is your most valuable asset and with this new diploma, you become, and this time becomes even more valuable. The financier, truly financier banker in me, would even tell you that the, the imperfectly perfect job market has already recorded the information on your graduation since the very day it got informed about your enrollment. All this is factored in. In my case, and in any case, let's do the math together. On the following example, the word median life expectancy stands at, what, 733 years, or more than 300,000 hours, excluding leap years. If you are 30, you have already lived 260,000 hours. If you're 40, you have lived 300,000 hours. While if you are 50, you have lived more than 400,000 hours. The purpose of this is not to estimate how much time you still have to live. Martin Luther King even said that what matters is not the time we'll live but what we do with the time we're given. Let us keep in mind a target of 300,000 hours as an assumption. Everyone here, everyone here, from west to east, from north to south, has 300,000 hours to fulfill in his or her destiny. 300,000 hours to make the right choices. 300,000 hours to achieve one's dream's goal. I therefore urge to look at your 300,000 hours and not let them slip away. That is why your diploma really allows you to achieve it gives you, as a global citizens, the personal responsibility to hold your time, so hold on to it. Dear fellows, the second topic 
is about our words. First and foremost, but that would not come to you as a surprise, Africa. Africa is currently central to global issues during discussions taking place at international level. It abounds in incredible potential due to its abundant resources. It has 97% of the world's copper reserves, 80% of coltan, 50% of cobalt, 57% of gold, 49% of platinum, and 60% of diamonds. Recently discovered oil, Senegal, Niger, Ghana, gas, uranium, and neutral, natural hydrogen reserves are scattered across the continent. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, a key to global food security is on our continent, Africa, as nearly, nearly 60% of the world's available farmland is located in Africa. 60% of arable soil are located in Africa. Africa has an invigorating demography, a dynamic use increasingly better trained and equipped to embrace opportunities and become a key player of a sustainable and inclusive development of the continent. These youths represent the greatest assets of our continent and will enable it to play a role in the global value chain. The time for local transformation and industrialization of the continent has come. While everything is declining, here and there in the world, there is growth in Africa, progress is evident, I can testify. Africa conceals entrepreneurial potential. Its use is building the future. Every day, the numerous SMEs of the continent innovate and invent future success for Africa, but also for the rest of the world. Of course, there are still challenges, including access to power, clean water, healthy food, health care, decent housing, and quality education. However, however, these challenges, ladies and gentlemen, these challenges are not subjects for complaint. They are, they are development opportunities. The generation you represent will have the privilege to witness them. I would like you, I want you to be part of these opportunities. Long gone is the Africa of hardships. Africa is becoming modern without complex and has adopted the word codes. It wanted to participate in writing and even improving them. This is even the rationale behind the existence and actions of the West African Development Bank, they were the, that I preside over. We're working with all our foreign partners and shareholders alongside the eight member countries of the West African Economic and Monetary Union to financing projects in major sectors for the benefits of more than 120 million inhabitants in the region. So dear fellas, lucky are those of you who live in the 21st century because you are in a world that you have the opportunity that would give you the opportunity to shape through your commitments and expertise. Execution, transaction, the capacity to deliver and impact the world. That's obviously with your HAC graduation where the world is expecting you to be. You have learned through your training process and experiences how to decrypt, 
this ever-changing and evolving world. Beware and prepare to learn how to manage uncertainty. Embrace the momentum of change and evolve with the word. Make it grow because you are the key players in the process. Your challenges are huge because of your responsibility. Climate change, biodiversity, social inequality, just to mention but a few. So dear fellows, dear fellows, here are my takeaways for you today. One, time is your most valuable asset. Hold on to it. Sooner or later, so to sooner or later, Africa will surely cross paths with your professional life. Be open to opportunities offered by Africa because it has a future. You are the generation of great fighters. Therefore, three, remain as committed as ever with, with, with humility. And, uh, and for all these reasons, dear fellows and graduates, as uh, Denzel Washington says, and this is very close to my heart, I'll see you at work. So let's get back to work. Thank you.